Hello, 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 friends. It's Jennifer with Fox and Smucks. Hi, guys. How are you today? It's Monday. It is not Monday morning. It is a Monday late afternoon. This is my spot with Craft Around the Clock. I am on from 3 o'clock to 3.45. And what I thought I would do today is finish up some of the projects that we started the other day. When I had my husband on with me, we did kind of a 4th of July theme. And so this is the star that he did. He did this star with foils and he painted all the pieces. Um, I put together, well, I just redid this Dollar Tree. We painted it red, white, and blue. And um, I accidentally, I accidentally put my arm in it the other day. So I have to put some more stuff some more glue on it before we put our foils on it. So we're going to do that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. If you are just jumping on, my name is Jennifer with Fox and Smocks. Um, this is my spot for craft around the clock. Ignore the fact that my face is bruised. Um, I fell in the shower the other day and I got a nice little shiner from it and my whole cheek and everything is bruised. So just ignore that fact. <laughs> But if you um, don't have your little protector little thingies down, <laughs> you might want to do that because this is what could happen. So anyways, um, like I said, we are going to foil today. We're going to finish some of the projects that we started the other day. Um, if you have not seen me, my name is Jennifer and I'm with Fox and Smocks. And this is my spot for Craft Around the Clock. Um if you're not part of that group, you want to make sure to jump into that group because they have some amazing, amazing artists and there's so many people in there, guys. Um, I'm, <coughs> excuse me, I missed out on the um, weekend party that they had where they were on all day long and all night long. So I missed out on that. I'm going to have to come back and watch some of the replays. But um, I imagine they did some amazing stuff in their PJs. Um Again, if you're jumping on, my name is Jennifer with Fox and Smocks, and let's get started. So we um, we painted this the other day. This is a Dollar Tree sign. Um, we painted it red, white, and blue, and then I came down here, and I was grabbing something or doing something, and I stuck my arm right in it, forgot it forgetting that it was uh, had glue all over it. So we're going to go ahead and put some more glue down on it, and if you are... Wanting to know, the person that comes on right after me is Darshi's Design. She's going to come on at 3.45 today. So we have about 45 minutes to kind of play. We're going to finish a couple projects. And, um, yeah, we're going to foil this. So if you're jumping on and you missed what I said I did to my face, I um, fell in the shower. And so I have a nice shiner. That was my Mother's Day present to myself. So, <laughs> anyways. Make sure you put the little little things down so you don't slip in your shower. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit more foil adhesive on this because like I said, I stuck my arm in it and I got glue all over my arm. I forgot that I had put glue on this, um, but you can see like this area over here, I ended up sticking my arm in it and so there's really not any glue on it left. So we're going to put some more glue down. We're going to foil this red, white, and blue. And then we're just going to play, um, I have another project maybe two that we're going to look at getting started so um we are going to do this one because we didn't quite get it finished because my husband was live with me that day and I was helping him learn how to foil because he has never foiled before so we we did that this is the project that he did so he foiled the stars and then he painted the stripes and and everything so he did a great job at his first time trying to foil, but we decided that day that we were going to paint this red, white, and blue to kind of have go with the same theme. So all I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit more glue on here because I went off and I left this down here to dry. I came down here to grab my laptop and what do you know, I stuck my arm right in it and um, yeah, so some of the glue came off. So I want to make sure that we put the glue where I had my, where I ended up sticking my arm in it um so 
that is what we're doing today. If you are new to me, um, say hello. Hello, Glenda from Missouri. You're close to me. I'm in the Wichita, Kansas area. So I am right smack in the middle. If you've never seen me before, I love to foil. I'm a foiling fanatic. That is what I'm known for. So I'm kind of the foil girl. Um, and I will show you what I'm talking about. Cause, it, cause you know, like when you hear the foiling, you're kind of like, what is she talking about? So I will show you what foils are. My little guy is upstairs running around. So hopefully he stays up there. Um, but we've got that on there. So what I'm putting on here right now is foil adhesive. So we got that on there. Now let me show you a piece of this of what we're going to do. Cause we are going to do red, red, um, I don't think I'm going to do the stars since he did the stars, but I think, well, we might, we might put the stars on there. So here's a really pretty blue. And then we've got this really pretty star one, which we might put the stars over the blue. And then, um, I think what we'll do is we'll do some red. We'll go ahead and put the red on there. Now I did hear that this one is not transferring well, so we're going to try it and see. And if it doesn't, I have a backup. Um, but I don't think that we're going to do the blue, blue. We might, should we do the blue or should we do the stars over the top of the blue that I painted? So I'm thinking that we might do that transparent blue or that, tra I'm sorry, transparent stars. So, but the red, we're going to do this foil here. And what it is, is it is just a fun shiny shimmery piece of paper the back side is kind of a dull but it's very thin and basically what it is it's a transfer so it's kind of like um a rub-on transfer if you've ever scrapbooked or anything like that before so that's what foiling is i got my big jug we're we are letting the glue dry right now so i think what we'll do is we'll set this little guy off to the side and I wanted to show you the other project that I brought down here because, first of all, I need to finish this one. I need to finish the house. So I have the word home cut out. Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. I do have my own laser, but I, um, hello, Carolyn. Hello, uh, hello, Funky Junk Inspirations. Um, so I have this cut out. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree because I thought it would be kind of cute to like paint this and maybe we can foil this as well. But this came in a two pack, guys. It came in a two pack. So if your local Dollar Tree has this stuff and you want to try some of this 3D stuff, that's a great place to start. Um, now, I do have a foiled fox box and what that is, it's a once a month craft. So we, this is my month for May. So we did the dandelion and it says just breathe. I know that it's backwards to you guys, um, but I have an Android phone, so that is why it's backwards. But this was our May project that you got and we did foil it. So there's some foils on here. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's some holographic kind of shimmery um, on the words. So my bonus project for them, I found these at the Dollar Tree as well, guys, and it says breathe. Okay, it says breathe, but it stands up. And I thought, how cute is that? Like we could totally um, paint this, paint it, whatever color, and then do either complimentary or like a completely different color. And so, um, oh, I didn't even realize that that is not even like punched out right there. Um, anyways, I got these at the Dollar Tree and I thought we could make, finish this up too. So this is actually my bonus project for my uh, foiled fox box. And if you're interested in any of that, you can look at my link tree. Oh my gosh, I made a big old mess. Um, let's see, what can I put it on? What can I put it on? So, I thought we could finish that up, or at least do it, while we're foiling the other pieces. But, I'm kind of trying to think of what color I would do for the home, and then what color, I th I'm thinking about doing this teal, guys. I'm thinking about doing a teal. Hello, Juanita, how are you today? So, um, 
I'm seeing now that I put that on there. Like I might have, I don't know. Okay, so we did red, white, and blue. We got the home that we got to paint. So let's figure out what color we're going to do with this. I'm thinking maybe even, maybe white or silver. What do you guys think? White or silver for this? Because I think that would pop really well. Like, yeah. So let's do, what do you think? White or silver? What should we do? White or silver for the home? Because the home that we have on there is kind of a, or the white that we have on there is kind of, it's kind of dull because this little sign was like a dark charcoal gray color. So we already have the foil adhesive on here. But I'm thinking maybe, maybe white. What do you guys think? I have a white little sponge and we have white right here. Silver. Glenda says silver. Okay. You think silver would make it pop? All right. Let's do it. So we're just going to put a little bit of paint down because it's not going to take much to do this. And we'll just use one of these sponges that don't have much paint on it. And we're going to go up and down. Silver, 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 silver. Okay. Okay, we're going with silver. So I'm just going to dab this up and down, guys. And if we need to, maybe we'll go over it with a foil. But I don't think we're going to need to. Because we're going to kind of put a lot of foils on that home. So on the actual cutout. But I don't think that we'll need... I don't think we'll need... Um, I don't think we'll need it. We're going to need just a tiny bit more paint. I didn't put quite enough out. Okay. So have you guys all been busy? Did you guys go to graduations? Did you all have a happy Mother's Day yesterday? Like, what's going on? Did you guys have a good Mother's Day to all those moms, even fur moms? Or grandmas, maybe? We, um, Darian, my son, went over to Grandma and Grandpa's house for the afternoon after church, and he got to play with little baby kitties, and his cousins were over there, and Ryan and I went to eat lunch, and we got to spend the afternoon just kind of hanging out. So that was kind of nice. So that's going to look really good together, guys. I think that's, that's a good color choice. Okay. So we'll set this off to dry. This is pretty much dry now. So what I was going to do the other day was I was going to show you a layering technique with the foils. So what we're going to do, since we have some extra pieces here, I believe that is the right side. So we're just going to put this down. This is foils, so we're going to use the star transfer. Now, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell with the with the transparent ones which side to lay down, but I think I think it's that side. We may have to try with a piece of tape. I don't know. My fingers aren't working the best today. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the the side that has the print down, you don't want to put the side that, like that's dull, like the, like I said, the transparent ones are kind of hard to tell, but, hmm, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to kind of lay this on here. the best we can. We're going to stick it down with our fingers. Now, let me, oh gosh darn it, Jennifer. Okay. So I believe that is the correct side. Now we got to figure out what side is the one to go down on this piece here. We'll try this little star right here. All 
All right, we're going to have to try a piece of tape because I cannot tell. There's a piece of tape. Okay. So a little tip with the transparency is you can grab yourself a little piece of tape. Sometimes I use like uh, painter's tape, but this will work. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these corners just to see like what side is the side that actually transfers. And it's that side. Okay, so, so there you can see the little star came off. Okay, it's nap time. I'll be up in about 30 minutes please match up a clear container our son's birthday is tomorrow doing a family fish fry for him tonight with fish in him and his dad caught made potato salad too wowza hello from arkansas hello hello so my name is jennifer with fox and smocks and we are getting ready to foil this um home sign that i got from the dollar tree and right now what we're doing is we're kind of piecing um, little scrap pieces of this foil together. And I am showing you a layering technique. So you can use up those scraps and see what I am talking about. So I'm just going to lay it all down on here. And what I was doing just a second ago, guys, is I was trying to see what side is the side that, that we need to lay down. The transparent ones are kind of hard sometimes because they, they're kind of hard to tell sometimes because the, well, first of all, they're clear. And two, um, I have to use a piece of tape sometimes to try to see which side I'm going to lay down. Because sometimes I can really tell with the transparent ones and then other times I just can't. So we're going to leave that on there like that. So we've got the we've got the little stars on there, and I, you can see I kind of pieced it all together. So we're gonna let that be on there. Now let's grab some red. Now I did hear that this is not transferring very well, so we might have to use my extra piece, but we're gonna see here. I'm just gonna give it a little try with my fingernail. We're gonna see if it'll transfer. Uh, it's transferring okay. I mean, okay, so we're going to cut a little piece of this off. We'll cut some of this off, and then we got to figure out what we're going to do for the middle. And I think, I think maybe we should have used the blue and not the stars. Ooh, these scissors are terrible. Okay, don't be like me and use yucky scissors. Okay. Guys, I'm really not normally this hot, hot uh, mess of a crafter, but today has been a crazy day. This weekend's been a crazy weekend. I mean, you can see my nice shiner on my face. I fell in the shower. I hurt myself. And then this weekend, we made a trip to the ER with Darian because he got a... <laughs> I'll say we were burning, and he was trying to help put boards in the burn pit, and he tried to pick up one, he went to throw it, well, he didn't get it thrown very far, and it caught him, well, it had nails in it, and the nail went here, here, and, like, cut him really good, right above his, right by his ear, and, um... Let's just say this mommy didn't know where the blood was coming from because it was coming out of his eyeball and it was coming out of his ear. <laughs> so I wasn't really sure if he lost his eyeball or if he got the nail stuck in his eyeball or what. But this kid, he's five years old and um, he, I'm not even kidding you guys, he literally, there was a nail sticking out of his head as I'm running because I had, I was on, uh, water hose duty and the boy I was like don't pull it out and that about that time he pulled the nail out of his head and blood just started coming everywhere and I was like oh my gosh so I ran inside I grabbed him up grabbed a towel took him to the ER <laughs> it was a mess so um but yes this happened in my shower I fell in the shower and smacked my face um, I am seeing, yes, I am fine. <laughs> what are you making? Um, 
Hello, Jennifer with She's Crafty USA. Um, yes, I am making a, this is a Dollar Tree sign that we actually painted and we put the foil adhesive on last week. And I thought I'd come on and finish it today. So Darian had a nail in his head that he pulled out. He had like, he's got a scary strip here. He's got a nice little whatever. Anyways, the Lord was looking after him because he did not lose his eye. He did not, it didn't poke his eye. Mama tell you, this mama was running stoplights and <laughs> all the above. So, um, yes, it's a lot. So, we, um, I got my foils. These actually came in my foil club um, through Artistic Painting Studios. I'm a brand ambassador for them. And this was the April collection. It had a lot of red, white, and blues on it. So, that's where I got this one. And, um... So if you're interested in getting any foils, I can definitely like put the links for it so you know exactly where to go. And the glue that I use is also Artistic Painting Studios. Um, but I do have uh, I do have a foiled fox box, and it's a project. This was for May. This is our Just Breathe sign. This is the one that we just did. And um, we foil, we, we craft, we do all the fun stuff. But the fun thing about that is it's like something like if you're kind of wanting to learn how to do it, but you don't want to invest a whole bunch, it's a great way to do it. So you're not like, you know, you're not like having to spend tons and tons of money of trying to buy all the stuff because I provide it all for you. So I provide the wood project, the foil glue, um, instructions. You get a video. You also get... Um, you also get, let's do this crackle. I think that crackle would look kind of cool. Um, so you get the project, you get the cutout, you get a bonus project. So if we've got enough time here in a minute, we're going to do the bonus project because I haven't done it yet. Um, normally I cut my own out, but I seen these at the Dollar Tree and I bought like every one. I went to like three different Dollar Trees. So, <laughs> so it is a Dollar Tree piece, but you're getting extra foils and everything along with it. Um, so, yeah. So, all this foil ha did come from Artistic Painting Studios. And I do have a little surprise for you guys. I'm going to do the tape thing again because... Um, hello, Sparky Chris. Hello, hello. Yes, I am so glad he is okay, too. I really am because I was so nervous that I, I was like, oh, my gosh, my kid is... Because he wasn't listening. You know how they are, the little boys, like they just don't listen. And I was telling him to put the board down and wait. And his daddy was saying the same thing. And he did not listen. And that's what happened. And so, but it's kind of funny to listen to him, like, explain what happened. Because I couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure out how he got the nails in his head. Like, I just couldn't figure out how he did it. And, um, anyways, so he was saying, I went to, this is what he told the doctor. Because I told him, I said, you're going to have to tell the doctor because I don't, I don't know what you did. Like, I don't, I don't know what you did. So, anyways, he was telling him I was holding the board. And the board was probably like, I don't know, it was like this big. And it's just a two by four and it had nails in it. And luckily they were like fairly new nails. So they weren't like old and rusty. And it wasn't like something that had been laying out in the yard forever and ever and ever. Um, but the kid, I swear, he just doesn't listen sometimes. So anyways, I am having, there we go. Okay. So all I was doing there was trying to see what side actually is the side that I need to put down on the foils. Because the transparent ones are a little hard to see sometimes. So we're going to. That's why I use the little tape. And what I'm doing, guys, is I'm showing you a, a way to layer your foils so you don't have to, like, oh, well, I guess we're going there because that's where I laid it. Uh, don't worry about little wrinkles or anything like that. I mean, it is crackle, so it's okay. Okay, so now that we've got this all kind of laid down, we're using three different foils. We're using a red foil, a crackle foil, and a star foil. So let me show you what it looks like on the camera. You can see the stars, is it's transparent, and the crackle is transparent. And then the red is like a really sparkly one. Now, I did hear that the red one isn't transferring well, so we're going to see, and if it doesn't, I have a backup. 
So we kind of laid it down. Um, let's see. Okay. So we're going to take our little scrub brush, guys. And we have until 3.45. So we're doing really good on time. We're going to be able to do another project. So what we're going to do is we're just going to scrub this on. We're going to use, actually, I'm going to use my big one because it's a little bit bigger project. So this is just from the Dollar Tree as well. And all I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to rub, rub that foil down on it. You don't have to push hard or anything like that. Now, I did layer the stars over here, so i got to be a little careful with not lifting it up. Um, but we're just rubbing this down to get that foil to stick. And whatever we end up getting, guys, is what we end up getting. I'm not going to be too worried about it. But I wanted to finish this project because it is going to be, well, I mean, it's already summer here in Kansas. So, I mean, we don't have a spring for very long. It's like two weeks long and then it's summertime. So, um, we've already been hitting almost 100 degree weather here and it was hot all weekend. I got a little sunburn. And then it started raining. Yesterday, it was raining all day long. And then it was kind of, it's kind of still wet outside. So I'm in the Wichita, Kansas area. Again, my name is Jennifer with Fox and Smocks. If you have not seen me before, I normally don't have a black eye. <laughs> that is my fault from slipping in the shower. Um, I have a five-year-old little boy that is a, an adventurist. He is going to keep me on my toes this summer. You know, that's the first, that's the first um, ER trip that we've had with him. And there's been many times that I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. We're going. But I can almost say, I can almost say that I feel like this summer is going to be the summer. Like he's going to end up with stitches or like a broken collarbone or something. So I feel like it. So, do you have the black eye when you took him? Yes, I did. <laughs> and it looked worse, too. <laughs> so, I had my ball cap on. And, um, yes. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I didn't call the police and was like, blink twice if you need help or <laughs> anything like that. We went to church yesterday. I had a lot of looks. But nobody said anything. And those that did, <laughs> they were like, are you okay? <laughs> Because they know that my husband, although he's he's a big burly man, he would never do anything like that. And they all know, too, that I would not, like, I would not stay with somebody that was like that ever. Like, all it does is take one time. And it doesn't even have to be, like, physical. Like, one time of being, like, and I'm, like, out the door. I had a boyfriend one time, a long time ago, that got mad. He was, let's say he was drinking, I believe. And he, um, he was on a binger and took off and... Came home and he was mad and I took the keys away from him because he was driving, which is not good. And he um, was punching holes in the wall and he ripped the refrigerator door off and literally I, he left. And I literally moved out that weekend. Like I was out. I was like, I'm done. We ain't doing this. So that's kind of my thought on it. All right. So how did he say the bail got, the nail got in his head? Okay. So he said that he was... <laughs> Now, this is a five-year-old. I'm holding the board money, and I was going to throw it, and I got it too close to my face. And so, I think, I don't know if he dropped it on his head, or he literally, like, hit himself in the face with it. So, <laughs> that's how he said it happened. Because, like I said, I was, um, like I said, I was on water hose duty. My husband was on the other side. Because when I say we had a burn pit, guys, it was over six foot tall. So, we were making sure that the whole perimeter of it was soaking wet because it had a lot of dry leaves on it and, like, stuff like that. And I didn't want it catching the grass and the trees and everything on fire. So, um, but, yes. So, let's say we, we were, <laughs> we, uh, anyways. So, we're going to start with the middle here since I kind of overlaid that on both of them. So, let me do a little sneak peek. Let's see if we can get it to go. All right. Okay, guys, are you ready to see this foil? Go grab your friends if they want to see it. I know it's kids, right? That's craziness. Okay, so we're going to pull it like a Band-Aid. And there we go. Oh, beautiful. So we, we're going to have a little bit of overage, I think. That's okay. We'll just we'll just get it. What I mean by overage, guys, is it kind of, because of the transparency, sometimes that happens with them, but it just peels right off. So 
You can take a little piece of sandpaper if you need to, but most of the time it just comes right off. So there's the, there's the foil on the middle. It's so pretty, guys. Now we're going to do the stars. Since we've kind of got a lot of little pieces of the stars, I don't remember where I laid it at. So, okay, we're going to go here. There's a piece. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, we're going to go here because that one looks like it's over the top of the other one. Okay, and then we're going to do this last one. And I got some overage, it looks like, so I'm going to peel that off before it sticks down. So we might have to rub it off with my fingers. So isn't that cool? Isn't this a fun way to, like, add some shimmer and sparkle to your stuff? And you really didn't have to do a whole lot. Now, yes, I painted it beforehand. And, oh, there's a little piece right here, too. Okay. So we've got two pieces now. Now let's see, isn't that pretty? Okay, let's see if the red actually transfers because there was some talk that this one wasn't transferring very well, so we're gonna see if we can get it to transfer. All right, are you guys ready? So this one could be, this one could be a fail, but we're gonna try it. Oh, I see what they mean. It doesn't transfer very well, let's see. Okay. I'm going to show it to you guys, but I'm also going to show you that it doesn't transfer very well. So this is what I like about Arctic. See how that's not transferring at all? So, okay, it is transferring, but it didn't, it didn't like transfer. You see what I mean? So they actually, because they're so awesome, they actually sent me another piece of this that actually is working better. So we're going to get that one out, but we're going to put some more glue down on this because now it's not really sticky anymore. It did transfer in some of the spots, and I really could leave it the way it is because it's kind of cool. It will look distressed. Yeah, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to mess with it too much, but I might I might try in a couple spots because it is still a little sticky. So maybe we'll just take that piece and we'll just see if we can't get any more down. Um, so that will happen sometimes. And, and guys, if... If they realize that they have sent something that doesn't work, they they always replace it, okay? They will always replace it. So if you're having a really hard time or if it's something like that, like you know what you're doing and you know it's not transferring the way it's supposed to, I mean, they're going to fix it for you. So with Art Artistic Painting Studio, that's where I get my foils at. That's where I get my foil glue. Okay, so we didn't really even get any more to transfer off of that. So I think we'll just leave it alone because I do kind of like the idea of leaving it like distressed like that. So um, now we've got our little home sign. So I was thinking about gluing that on. Now that you can see the colors of it, should we paint this a different color or should we leave it silver? I'm going to pay attention to what time it is too. Okay, we've got about 15 minutes. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Leave it silver, because I painted the home silver. I didn't put any foils or anything on it. I love that crackle. That crackle is awesome. Leave it. Okay. So, I have that. And then, guys, I also bought this little, um, this little corrugated metal thing. And I thought, well, that might be kind of cute with it, but it might be too much. So, I don't know. I kind of... I think it's almost too much. It's almost too much. So we'll do that with something else. Now let's go ahead and glue. Let's go ahead and glue this down. And then um, we will actually, we're not going to glue that yet. We're going to set this off to the side. Now we are going to finish up. This is my bonus project. Since we've got about 15 minutes left, we're going to finish my bonus project for our foiled fox box. So this is the foiled fox box for May. And it says, just breathe. And then I came across these at the Dollar Tree, guys. And so I was like, hey, that's really cool. So I'm thinking about painting it or even leaving it this gray color. Now, the ones that got them in the boxes, some of them are kind of a brown color. Some of them are white. And some of them are like this gray color. So maybe highlight with white or red on the home. We could do that. 
Okay, we might do that here in just a second. Okay, so now I'm kind of thinking that maybe we should leave it. I don't know. Here's what my thought process was with this one. I was thinking about foiling it um, like this teal blue. I thought that might be kind of pretty. What do you guys think? Should we do this? Um, it's called Lagoon Blue. So I'm thinking that maybe, do you think that that would look good together? The teal with it? I think it might. Or maybe we should paint it white and do like, maybe we'll do that crackle on it. What do you think, guys? Should we paint this white and do crackle over the top of it? Or should we do this like teal color? Because the teal is like solid color. It's just going to be solid color. So, um, because I, I kind of like that crackle though. Check that out. Look at that. that. That's really pretty. So you can still see kind of the, the shimmery on the red. So there's our project that we started the other day, white and crackle. I'm seeing white and crackle. Okay. White and crackle. All right. Let's put you out of the way. Let's get you out of the way. Let's paint you white. All right, let's see. I think we're gonna, ooh, I don't know, this might be. This is chalk paint. Now, I have regular, let's just do white. This white might be easier to. Okay, so this is just white craft paint, white and crackle. Okay, so we're gonna see if we have enough time to finish this up. Um, we're just going to sponge this on guys. I'm just going to use one of my old sponges that are set in here. I must have used white before. So we're just going to use white again. And we'll just sponge this on. And even if, even if we, um, have a little of the gray showing through, it's okay. So I think so. It'll just kind of look rustic, which is what that crackle will do to it. It'll just kind of make it look rustic. Now, guys, the white on that, it's not like really white because the background was kind of like a charcoal gray. So maybe we should do like light, maybe we should do light thin coats of this. So that kind of that gray is coming through too. What do we think? I think so. White and crackle. Because the, the white, I don't know. We'll, we might have to do a little bit of, we might have to do a little bit of play in here. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to like soak, soak this thing with paint. I think I'm going to kind of do just like streaking of it to where you can still see a little bit of that gray behind it. And we might even... We might even come in with like a paper towel or something and wipe some of that off. Okay, so it's kind of what I was thinking for this project here is just kind of painting it. Now, like I said, this is my bonus project for the foiled fox box. And some of them were like a, uh, a brownish color or like the color of the MDF. And then some of them were kind of a white-ish color. And then some of them were this gray color. Because like I said, I went to like three different Dollar Trees to buy them for my... I bought like every one of them. I even had a lady at the store who was like, oh, what does that say? Like she wanted one and I was like, okay, give it to you. I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. Um, <laughs> I felt a little bad, but I was like, I really need this one. I don't have enough. And I was trying to gather them all up um, because I actually was going to cut out the words. I was going to cut out another word and do like another sign for my bonus project. But then I seen this, and this was in like that nautical stuff, like where the all the little C stuff is. And I was like, oh, oh, that would work because my sign says just breathe, and this one is breathe, and it would look good together. So that's kind of what I was thinking. That's my thought process on it. All right, so we got it painted kind of white. I didn't do like heavy, heavy white because I feel like that um, crackle, I mean, it's going to show, but it's not going to be like... Crackle, crackle, because of the, because it's transparent. So, let's try this. We've got to put some glue on it. 
And I think we'll have enough time. I hope we do. It's not going to take long for this to dry because I really didn't put that much paint on it. So what did you guys think of that foiling? Did you like it? This is such a great way, and I want to, do you sell your signs? I do sell my signs. Um, I just switched around my website, so I'm still working on my website. Um, I had it all on there, and then I decided I, I decided I wanted to try a different way. So, so I am actually revamping my whole entire page. And guys, I have a super surprise for you. I wanted to show it to you. I'm getting ready to offer just like a, 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 just the foils. Like I'm going to offer like a package of like four colors of foil. And so it's going to be like a foot a piece or it's going to be like basically the size of a scrapbook piece of paper. So you'll get four different colors and then you can add the glue to it if you want it. And it's going to be like 20 or $25. So, um, but if you don't need the glue to it, like let's say you bought some glue already, but you really want the foils, it's going to be like, I think like 17 50 or $18 or something like that. Um, so, guys, that is a great way, too, to get some foils that you don't have to worry about, like, you know, like, maybe you don't want to buy the box because you don't need the wooden project because you have a laser. Or maybe you don't want, you know, like, maybe you don't want the projects that I'm doing. So, we are not going to have enough time for this. <laughs> I just realized it's 341. But we will go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and paint the glue on here. And you guys are going to get the gist of it. So the glue is, this is our Artistic Painting Studios foil adhesive. It's kind of the consistency of Mod Podge, guys. So it goes on kind of a hazy color or white. And then when it dries, it dries and it's super sticky, okay? So the thing about this is when you're putting it on white, it's kind of hard to tell um, if you've painted it or not. But the thing that I can say is if you don't have glue down, if there's no glue on there, the foil is not going to stick to it. So you want to make sure you cover even close to the edges because if you don't have glue on it, it's not going to stick. Um, and so I've done that before where I thought I got the whole thing covered in, in foil adhesive. And then I go to foil and realize like there's a big old chunk of it <laughs> didn't even have glue on it. So um, it happens, but that's okay. You can fix it or you can just leave it. <laughs> it's okay. So. Anyways, um, where do you buy the foils? So I buy them at um, Artistic Painting Studios. I'm gonna actually put the links of the foils that I use today. I'll do it in the dis I'll do it not in the description because it's already on there, but I'll put it in the comments. Um, I'll put it in the comments, the link, and you can go in there and look around. But I do know that. Um, so yeah. That's what I do. I also have my uh, la, 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 link tree has all of it on there as well. So the only thing is it's my my um, the link tree is not going to go to my website now because I just turned it all off this weekend because I was messing with trying to switch it all around and I just didn't get it done in time. So um, but I am I am switching my website all around. So if you see something that I have and you're wanting to get it, you can always just message me here on Facebook and I'd be happy to like get you a PayPal invoice or something like that. Um, so I don't sell my stuff on Facebook because I was never able to get it linked to my store the right way. And it, when I did, it was like all messed up. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of switching my stuff around as well is because I had some troubles with like shipping with the website that I was using, my host website that I was using. And so um, it's kind of weird. So I, I don't, I don't, I didn't like the way it did it, shipping and all the business. But anyways, that's here, nor, neither here nor there. Um, but if you are interested in something you've seen me do or looking to get, just let me know. And I can either tell you where I bought it at or um, I can tell you where, like I can, I can get it for you. I can make it for you. So I have a laser cutter. So I do the laser cutting wood. Most of the time I use my own, but I do like to do a lot of projects from the Dollar Tree as well because, guys... Dollar Tree is rocking on their wooden projects. How do I message you? Um, Cynthia, you can go on my page at Fox and Smocks and hit the little button. It looks like a little squiggle thingy. You can message me there. Or my name is Jennifer Fox. You can find me on Facebook. I have bright red hair in my profile picture. Um, 
it's like bright red, like, I don't know what color you call it, but anyways, it's like tangerine bright orange. Um, and yeah, you can message me either places or you can just comment below and I'll message you if you want something or you want to like, you know, you want to ask me a question or whatever. So then you, you have it. So, okay, we've got the glue on there guys, but like I said, we are out of time. So here is the glue on there. Let me show you how shiny it is. I don't know if you can see it. But we're going to let this dry, and then I will probably come back on and uh, finish this up. So if you guys are wanting to hang around for uh, later on, then you can jump back on, or you can watch the replay of me finishing it up. Have a good afternoon, guys. Make sure to stick around for Darcy's design. She's starting right now. Bye, guys.